Let's look at how we can do weighted averages using Excel's sum product command or function. Here we have information on two candidates for a post, candidate one and candidate two. We have scores on different things that they have. We've got uh, um, the, their bio data, their work experience that we got from their resume. Uh, candidate one had score of 72. Candidate two was a little better with 88. We have information on their education. Candidate one has a great education. Candidate two, it's not awesome. We've They've both gone through two interviews, and on the first interview, candidate one did much better. On the second interview, candidate two did better. Um, we've got, gave them a cognitive ability test, and uh, candidate one was stronger, and an integrity test, candidate one was stronger uh, also. Now what we wanna do is we wanna combine all these scores with uh, different weights. And the, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, um, look at the work experience and education, weight those t with 20s, and the same thing with the two interviews, whereas the cognitive ability test and the integrity test, we're only giving a weight of 10. And if we add those up, we've got a total weight of 100. So how can we average the um, scores for the candidates with these proper weights? This is called a weighted average. We're going to use the sum product function in Excel. The sum product basically gives us the, we're going to take the 20 times the 72 plus the 20 times the 92 plus the 20 plus the 91, et cetera, for all those scores, and then add them together, and then we're going to divide them by the total weight. So down here, we will, uh, the, the, or let's put it here where it says weighted average. We're going to use the command sum product. And we are going to put in, first of all, this column, B4 to B9. That's a table one weight. And we're going to, the second argument is going to be this column here, candidate one. And then we will close that off parentheses wise. And then we're going to divide that. Oops, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to divide this by the total weight, which we're going to identify as B11. Now let's put this uh, with the dollar signs in case we copy this over. We don't want that we always want it to be B11. We don't want that to move. So I'm going to do dollar sign B11 and we put press enter and we get a total score of 81 for the first candidate. That's the weighted average. Now, if we draw this over here, we get, oh, it says 395. We look here and we see that it's taking these two columns rather than, we want the weight and candidate two. So we're going to remove table one and we will put in a weight. And so that should be the indicator as weight. And we press enter and we see that candidate two has a weighted average of 81.5. So he's slightly stronger, and so we would uh, uh, make the offer to candidate two first because he, uh, he did better on the weighted average.